Well, NKS Pharmaceuticals seemed like a struggling biotech company back in 2006. It failed to get approval for an osteoporosis treatment, but now the company's back, and 2011 could be a breakout year for them. Uh, Francois, tell me, what are some of the big milestones that people should be looking for from you guys in 2011? Well, 2011 is indeed a big, uh, big year for us. We have two lead products. Uh, that are in late stage development. So we're expecting to have a readout of the first product, GATEX, in short bowel syndrome in the first quarter. And we will have a readout of the top line for the second product, 558 in hypoparathyroidism, in the fourth quarter. So big year for now, us. Now you've talked to me about these conditions before. These are very rare disorders, but very debilitating, right? Very rare conditions, no approved treatment, very debilitating. For short bowel syndrome, we have about 10 to 15,000 patients in the U.S. with very limited treatment options. So we're very, very happy to be able to offer these patients an alternative. For hypoparathyroidism, about 65,000 patients in the U.S., no approved treatment. So here also we'll be extremely well positioned to offer the treatment of the future. Now, relatively small numbers of patients, but potential for big sales, you say. What type of uh, market do you think these products could generate? Well, these products could generate about $300,000, $350,000 peak sales for the short bowel syndrome and about $250,000, uh, $250 million rather, for hypoparathyroidism. But for these two products, true and met medical need, Again, the patients are waiting for a treatment and hopefully we'll be able to deliver the treatments that they're waiting for. Now the patients may be waiting for a treatment, but you've got insurers that you need to convince to pay for them. Right. These could, how much could these treatments cost and, and do you think the insurers will be willing to, to pick up the bill? Well, the, the key for the payers is to understand and for us to characterize the value that we're bringing to these patients. Mm -hmm. So in the case of short bowel syndrome, for example, we will reduce their need and reliance on parental nutrition, which is a very, very expensive treatment, over $100,000 a year. Hopefully we can reduce some of the comorbidities associated with parental nutrition, will improve quality of life. And in our first study, we had about 10% of the patients who came off parental nutrition altogether. So the value is really embedded in what we can offer the patients. Mm -hmm. And so I guess you feel like the case you make is that lower, possibly long-term costs, despite having a, a higher product cost up front? So we, have, we can reduce the direct cost of treating with parental nutrition, and we can significantly reduce the long-term cost associated with the comorbidities, but also these patients could go back and work and live a normal life, and this is extremely important. Now, NPS started as a company that was focused on a very broad uh, disease, osteoporosis. Now you're focused on this narrow areas. In just a few seconds, why is that a good strategy that companies should be taking? Well, we, we are in orphan indications, rare diseases by design and we reorganized the company accordingly. We hired the right expertise. So for us, it was a choice. We did not trip into this. And we were very fortunate because our products lend itself into these additional indications. And fast forward what we've done in the last four or five years, we have two lead products that are about to be uh, completed. We have improved our balance sheet. We created value for our investors. And frankly, we are in the process of offering new treatments for our patients. Very good. Well, sounds like it'll be an exciting year. Good talking with you.